Yun, good afternoon. And good afternoon sa inyo lahat. Um, again, we're live here for another Start Learning series natin. And my name is Ajimir. Uh, I'll be your host moderator for this episode. And before we start, for our first viewers, please don't forget to share this on your walls, Facebook pages. And if you have Facebook groups, share nyo rin sila para at least masamahan tayo ng mga friends nyo sa topic natin this afternoon. And especially if you have mga entrepreneur friend, startup, micro enterprises, kasi sobrang ganda ng topic natin dahil um, very relevant sa nangyayari ngayon. And at the same time, um, malaking tulong dun sa mga micro entrepreneur natin kaibigan. Kasi um, this afternoon, pag-uusapan natin kung ano yung importansya ng paghahanda ng bawat entrepreneur para sa mga ganitong uh, sitwasyon. Kasi right now, we have um, experiencing um, COVID-19 and it's actually a pandemic. So, marami sa atin, even hindi businesses eh, um, even tayo sa, mga, sa negosyo, marami sa atin ang hindi nakapaghanda sa mga ganitong sitwasyon. So, this afternoon, yan yung pag-uusapan natin, bakit siya importante yung paghandaan. Um, dahil we have invited a financial advisor na magdi-discuss at mag-share sa atin ng mas malawak at mas broad na usapan tungkol sa paghahanda sa mga itong sitwasyon. And before we start nga rin pala, gusto ko rin pasalamatan muna yung what's uh, what's your plan uh, sila Ma'am Princess San Diego pa, kasi nagpadala sila sa akin ng uh, flavored leche plan, avocado milo. Hindi ko pa siya natatry pero itatry ko yan siguro tomorrow morning or siguro this kamayang dinner. And thank you rin dun sa Vita Plus kasi nagpadala rin sila sa akin ng package. So, ang lakas maka-celebrity kasi may nagpapadala sa akin mga ganito. So, sobrang-sobrang thank you sa inyo. Um, ipopost ko rin yan yung mga pinadadala nyo sa akin. And, yun, uh, again, for our first viewers, please don't forget to share this on your walls, pages, and Facebook groups para masamaan tayo ng mga kaibigan nyo. And, comment or tag your friends na entrepreneur or startup businesses or micro-entrepreneurs or may, basta anything, may coffee shop, may, may restaurant, or any business they, that they have kasi baka makatulong tong topic natin this afternoon. So, um, since we invited the financial advisor for this afternoon to discuss things about this, uh, let's welcome Miss Joy Hume. Hi. Hi. Yan, Ma'am Joy, uh, baka gusto mo mag-hi muna sa mga viewers natin. Uh, hi everyone. Um, mag-post lang kayo sa comments ng... Uh, hi, hi, Auntie. <laughs> oh, yun. Uh, Worry natin. Uh, anyway, buti ma'am nabanggit mo. Yung nga pala hindi ko nasabi. So just in case uh, may mga questions kayo uh, about the topic or anything that you wanted to ask, um, please feel free to comment kasi mababasa namin yan. Pwede namin i-flash a screen yan para mapag-usapan natin at ma-address natin yung mga concerns nyo. And... Yon, Miss Joy, um, bago tayo mag-start, um, kamusta, kamusta ngayon, kamusta kayo ngayon sa, uh, saan ba kayo, Valenzuela? Oh, eto pa, ano, G- mula. GCQ na ba kayo? Um, June 1, GCQ, oo. Oh. GCQ ano, na kayo. Oh. Pero ang liquor ban, hindi, uh, hindi pa rin lifted. Yeah, ayaw ni, <laughs> ayaw ni, ni Mayor, ano eh, i-lift yung liquor ban eh. Tama lang din, pero makapag-ipon yung mga tao. <laughs> Hi tayo kay Sherwin, nanonood si Sherwin. Hi Sherwin. Uh, anyway, kasi yun nga rin, um, uh, regarding dun sa GCQ, siguro it's uh, best rin na to remind yung mga viewers natin na uh, itreat pa rin natin siya as um, uh, not normal. Kung baga kasi, yung iba kasi feeling nila back to normal na yung GCQ eh. So ideally and technically, hindi pa po siya. As long as yung yung uh, as long as mayroon siyang community quarantine sa dulo quarantine pa rin yan so kailangan magingat pa rin tayo um, so kung hindi kailangan lumabas wag nang lumabas kung wala naman trabaho ang gagawin sa labas wag nang lumabas and please follow yung uh, pagsuot ng face mask kasi malaking tulong yan para mabawasan yung pag-spread ng COVID-19 kasi yun nga, gaya ng na-mention ko kanina, ang pag-uusapan natin tungkol uh, relevant rin dyan sa nangyayari sa atin ngayon. Kasi maraming uminda o umiinda na malilit na negosyo o negosyante 
sa mga nangyayari ngayon. So, yung topic ni Miss Joy, um, sobrang relevant sa sitwasyon natin ngayon. So, Miss Joy, um, before we start, baka may gusto kong share Gusto kong batiin or ano? Um, share ko lang yung, ano, um, yung background behind the idea of this presentation today. Um, kasi, um, hindi lang kasi ako financial advisor. First and foremost, um, micro-entrepreneur din ako. Nag-start ako sa online, um, uh, sa online business, ano. Um, to be honest, uh, malaki yung, malaki yung impact talaga nung pandemic sa atin. So, kaya naisip ko rin na mag-present ng ganitong, um, kasi malaki, I mean, kung hindi ako na-introduce uh, with uh, financial preparedness, with insurance, uh, I think mas malaki yung worry ko right now, yung anxiety ko. So, um, I'm very, very grateful. So, before I start, siguro yung gusto ko mag-thank, mag-maging, mag, uh, mag-thank you sa um, mentors ko sa Sun Life um, for teaching me how to prepare. Um with yung mga uncertainties at saka yung mga inevitable sa buhay natin, no? Um, so, eh, yun yung gusto kong i-share ngayon, actually, sa everyone. <laughs> actually, ayun, actually, good thing rin na na-mention nyo, ma'am, para at least familiar yung viewers natin, na um, hindi lang kayo financial advisor, kumbaga, kung ano man yung ikukwento nyo or share nyo, nakaka-relate rin kayo, kasi nga, nandun rin kayo sa sector na pag-uusapan natin, na micro-entrepreneur. So, ayun, um, again, for our viewers, please don't forget to share this uh, post sa walls nyo, sa Facebook pages nyo, kung meron kayong Facebook pages, and Facebook groups para masamaan tayo ng mga friends nyo about the topic. And if you can comment yung mga friends nyo um, na nasa industry na to, um, comment nyo sila, malaking tulong to, malaking bagay to. Although, sabihin man natin na late na siya for this pandemic for COVID-19, pero isipin natin na may possibility pa rin na for the next years, may sitwasyon rin kakaharapin yung mga negosyo natin na kailangan natin ng mga gaitong bagay. Tama, ma'am? Yes, tama yan. So, ano, ma'am? Mag-start mag uh, na ba start tayo? Oo, oh, start na tayo. Share na natin yung ano yung mama. Oo. Uh, okay na? Yes. Okay na. Okay, so ang title ng um, presentation for today is um, Startup Level Up Behind the title. Ang ibig sabihin nito kasi syempre lahat tayo startup, no? Um, startup. So, kailangan natin mag-level up na. Um, and I want to introduce insurance as a power tool for the MSMEs. Um, so, start tayo. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Joy Hong. Um, as I've said earlier, I'm a micro-entrepreneur. Nag-start ako sa, uh, actually, nag-start ako yung business ko sa online. Um, I'm the own brand owner of Happy for PH for yung mga natural um, pet shampoo bars and Asado shirts, yun yung mas, ma mas matunog kong brand. Um, we customize um, baby onesies at saka mga shirts. But right now, ang ginagawa namin is more on mga printed na costumes ng baby onesies, mga OOTD. And finally, si Senorita Sari Sari Store, um, it's an e-commerce platform for lahat ng paninda ko. So, basically, mahilig talaga ako magnegosyo. Um, and I'm also a financial advisor for Sun Life. I was, um, I, I joined Sun Life last year. Um, couldn't be happier. Uh, kasi sobrang exciting talaga um, maging advisor. Kasi you learn a lot of things and I get to share a lot of things with my friends and my loved ones. As well as, alam yun, kahit acquaintances or even strangers. Um, so, start tayo, no? So, what is an MSME? Kanina pa ako MSME ng MSME, di ba? So, MSME is actually micro, small, medium enterprise. So, if your um, business would fall under this category, I mean this, uh, what's it called? D dito sa chart na to. For example, um, micro ako kasi 0 to 3 million lang yung assets ko. Tapos, ang employee ko actually basically one. Ako, ako lang. Um, so, micro ako. Um, small businesses, yun yung kapag yung assets mo is from 3 to 15 million, tapos employees mo is from 10 to 99 people. And then, the medium enterprises are, um, yun nga, yung asset nila is 15 million to 100 
million and then employees nila is 100 to 199. So, um, gaano ba ka importante ang MSME sa economy? Right now, um, malaking malaking malaki talaga actually uh, according to the world bank formal sms uh, smes msmes actually they contribute up to 60% of total employment and up to 40% of national income gdp in emerging economies so this is just the formal sectors no ng smes um ito lang yung mga uh, naka-register formally sa government natin. Pero actually, mas malaki pa yung naikokontribute ng sector natin, ng mga businesses natin sa economy. So, malaking-malaking bagay talaga. Um, so, ang MSMEs, normally, usually, uh, they are established and operated by individuals such as myself, okay, yung mga families nila, ganyan. So, usually, yun yung mga makikita natin, local general store, yun yung local um, neighborhood store mo, sari-sari store, ganyan, or yung home-based startups, yan, maraming marami sa atin yan ngayon, no? Mga bazarista, yung mga freelancers, ganyan, yan. Yan tayo ngayon. So, small entrepreneur and big, but big functions. We function, um, we have big functions, no? Kung, kung baga, ang, ang laki ng, tayo yung pinaka- point person ng key person ng ano natin, ng negosyo natin. So, we handle staffing and hiring. Tayo yung nagpa-plano financial, ng, ng finances natin. Um, we do the daily operations, in and outs ng ano, yung mga deliveries, ganyan, operations, everything, sales and marketing. And tatkat tayo dyan, no, um, sa Facebook, sa Instagram, kahit sa pagbabazar natin, nandun tayo madalas. And, syempre, customer service. So, tayo madalas yung maharap sa clients, no? So, in short, no, ang in short, the the small business owner, the keeper it is the key person, is also the biggest asset of the whole enterprise, di ba? So, um, sinabi nga ni Anita Campbell, the founder and CEO of uh, Small Business Trends, as as the owner of the business, you're the captain of the ship. And you're responsible for keeping the entire thing afloat. That's why you hear about small business owners wearing many hats. You do whatever it takes. No task is too small or too big when it's your business and you do it happily. So, hindi to foreign sa mga small business owners like me, like you. Everyone, actually, almost everyone that I know are siguro sa, lalo na sa from, from startup local, no? Um, Totoo. Totoo, di ba? I mean, like, ah, kailangan ng delivery. Sige, ako yung magde-deliver again. Um, uh, kailangan ng ano, kailangan may may problema sa product, may ano. Ikaw lahat, eh, ikaw lahat. Kumbaga, since ikaw yung captain ng ship, pag nawala ka dun sa ship, everything will sink. Di ba? So, yan yung tinatawag natin na buhay ang pukunan natin. So, the owner is the most important key person to run the small business. Imagine kung nawala ka bigla. Most often, they are the breadwinners of their families pa. Ako, ako ang breadwinner ng fur family ko. You know, si Happy Fur. I have like 10 dogs. And kapag nawala ako, I'm guguhu yung negosyo ko. Guguhu din yung, yung, yung support ako sa family ko. I know a lot of people na nag-start ng may, may maliit na negosyo and yun talaga yung bread and butter ng buong pamilya. But then they are also the most at risk to get sick or get into an accident since they are always on top of the day-to-day -day operations. Tama. Kasi tayo madalas na sa labas eh. I mean, like personally with my Shari Shari store, I I personally go out. I have a schedule. I, I go out. I, I pick up my the, the items. I deliver. Sometimes I personally deliver the items to my clients. Um Ito pa ang pinaka-classic na ano na ano sa atin, especially with the online business owners, wala sa ating may oras. Um, kaya mas may tendency tayong magkasakit, bilis na mas stress, no? Pagka mayroong problema sa isang uh, client, magme-message, kahit ahating gabi na yan, magme-message, makikita mo. You have to talk to them. So, ay, nawala. Ayun. So, did you know? Ito, sobrang ano to. 
Uh, this is from Philippine Statistics, Statistics Office na report, no? Did you know that 8.1 million Filipinos are overworked? Okay. Halos lahat tayo overworked. <laughs> Studies suggest that uh, the high levels of cortisol from long-term stress can increase blood cholesterol, triglycerides, blood sugar, and blood pressure. Kumbaga, familiar na tayo dyan lahat. Um, madalas yan makakaramdam tayo, masakit batok natin, or dahil sa pagod, sa stress, ganyan, no? So, yun, ah. <laughs> Alam na natin yung lahat. And did you know that 29% of Filipinos die from cardiovascular and respiratory diseases? And the main culprit, guess what? Is stress. Um, kasi stress can lead to what overeating or yan nandiyan yung bisyo, uh, etc. etc. No? Um, late matulog, ganyan. Ito pa yung masaklap since madalas tayong nasa labas. Especially yung mga bazaristas, yung mga kumukuha ng mga paninda nila, let's say pumunta ng Taytay, Divisoria, or whatever. Like half of your week, minsan more than half of your week, you, you're out there. Kumbaga, um, yun nga, literal na buhay ang puhunan kasi nandun ka sa labas eh. So 40 Filipinos get into a vehicular accident in a day. Ganun karami. Ang masakla pa, mas masakla pa is the working age. Yung working age, ah, sila yung madalas nagkakaroon, sila yung madalas yung uh, road casualties natin, no? So, ito yung ano ngayon. Since ikaw yung biggest asset, tapos ikaw pa yung the most at risk. You worked hard to build a solid financial footing for you and your family. So, it needs to be protected by protecting yourself. Hindi ba? Kasi ikaw yung biggest asset eh. Pag nawala ka, lulubog lahat. So dito papasok sa life insurance. So ano ba ang life insurance? no? It is an all-around powerful financial tool to protect you and the people relying on you from financial hardships from an event of a loss. In short, pag bigla tayong nawala, may nangyari sa atin, nagkasakit tayo or talagang... Pff, na, alam mo na, merong sasalo. Ang sasalo sa atin, yung life insurance, yung sasalo ng negosyo natin, sasalo ng pamilya natin, life insurance. We'll discuss that later on. So, maraming pwedeng paggamitan ng life insurance. So, you have like the accidental death benefit. Kung narin sa labas, kabi na kang napangga. Income protection, for example, um, actually, mas in-depth pa yun eh. Family protection nandiyan din. Meron din tayong investments. Final fi final expenses kapag ka kunwari, yun nga, may nangyari na sa'yo and then final na yan. Kung bagay, yan na yung puli mong gastusin sa buhay. Hindi na kailangan mangutang yung pamilya mo kung saan-saan para dun sa last expenses mo or final expenses mo. Um, critical illness benefit. Kapag ka meron kang critical na sakit, pwede rin sal saluhin ng life insurance or yung insurance policy mo yung um, mga medical costs. Depends on your policy, of course. Retirement is nice also. Kasi may mga products ang mga ibang insurance na nagigain sila ng, um, nagigain through investment no, over time. And then estate planning is kapag ka may papamana ka na sa mga anak mo. So that's, that's a more in-depth um, discussion. So basically, life insurance is a sturdy umbrella for your family. Kasi, um, yung insurance payouts, kumbaga like, may nangyari sa'yo, naksidente ka, na you passed away bigla, um, or you got ill, suddenly ill. May mga insurance payouts yan na magbibigay ng financial security sa buong pamilya mo. Okay. And then, in case of permanent disability or illness, pwede siya pang medical expenses, and then, kahit nawala ka na, makikip afloat pa rin yung, kumbaga may tutukod pa rin dun sa lifestyle ng family mo. Hindi sila bigla na lang, pag nawala ka, kailangan nila manghiram sa kapitbahay, manghiram sila sa relatives nyo, um, to, para sa final expenses, or para sa education ng mga anak nyo, or pang araw-araw na gastusin, ano. 
And it's also a safety net for your business. Hindi lang yun, um, hindi lang sa family natin, no? Sakali, di ba? Normal sa atin, small businesses, we, we often um, get loans or avail loans, um, etc. from minsan sa mga financial, other financial institutions like banks. So, kapag nawala ka, yung utang sa banko, imbis na masequester yung negosyo mo, merong insurance payout na sasalo doon. Tapos, business handover in case of um, untimely death doesn't be- become a ma- major deterrent. So, bigla kang nawala. Um, kunwari, may partner ka, uh, meron pa rin, kumbaga merong placeholder, may placeholder na magsasubstitute sa sayo. Kunwari, nawala ka sa operations. At least meron kang, meron kang pantapal. Money invested over the years in variable life policies can add to your capital or be your retirement fund. So, tayo, wala tayong SSS. Well, hindi sapat actually. Meron naman sa SSS, pero hindi sapat. Let's be honest. Um, so, maganda yung, maganda yung mga na-invest mo dun sa, over the years, dun sa variable life policies mo or like yung insurance. Yun yung sinasabi namin, in, um, insurance and then may investment, um, investment side, ano. It can be, it can add to your capital para lumaki yung, mas lumaki yung negosyo mo or it can be your retirement fund. So, meron tayong, um, ito yung madalas namin naririnig, no, na insurance myths. Like, I'm single or married with no children so I don't life, I don't need life insurance. I can't afford life insurance. I don't need life insurance because I'm healthy. Um, I'm better off saving my money rather than investing in life insurance. I have a comfortable amount of savings, so I don't need life insurance. So, number one, yung sa I don't need life insurance, paano yung final expenses mo kung wala kang, ba- wala kang anak? Hindi mo naman pwede sigurong i- iasa yung sa asawa mo or sa magulang mo kung sakaling may nangyari sa'yo, di ba? Or kapag ka meron kang, nagkaroon ka ng sakit. Um, I can't afford life insurance. Um, this is, I think, ayaw kong sabihin worst. <laughs> Pero, um, let's just say na hindi, we can't afford, you can't afford to be, to not have a life insurance actually. Um, why? So many things. So many things. Um, hindi ka pwedeng walang, um, mas expensive actually yung walang life insurance. Kasi pag nagkasakit ka, for example, so many things, pati yung sa business mo. I don't need life insurance because I'm very healthy. Well, sakto right now, for example, COVID-19, even healthy people, sobrang healthy people, ang bilis magkasakit, ang bilis mawala. Hindi natin masabi. I'm better off saving my money rather than investing in life insurance. That's not also true because um, money de- depreciate over time, no? And investing in life insurance, um, kaya nyo mabit yung inflation, actually, when you invest in life insurance. Um, I have a comfortable amount of savings, so I don't need the life insurance. Again, parang ganun din yun with the inflation thing. So, you ha- uh, there are th- several things to consider in choosing a life insurance. Uh, Siyempre, number one is you have to choose, and this, these are just tips by the way, you know. So, you have to choose a well-respected insurance company and, and, and a trusted financial advisor. Why? Because... A financial advisor and and, uh, well, uh, and the insurance company na mapipili mo um, will be your partner for life. Eh. So it's very, very important talaga na trusted mo yung financial advisor mo at saka kilala sa industriya yung insurance company na pag-investan mo or kukuha mo ng policy. Of course, the policy must be able to provide financial support to the entire or majority of the business setup. So, si financial advisor, since, kunwari, nakakuha ka na ng very trusted financial advisor mo, 
um, mag-uusap na kayo dyan. So, you have to, maganda kung meron ka nang nakapag-take down notes ka na, or meron ka nang more or less idea kung um, yung, yung kukunin yung policy is makakapar, makakatulong ba or makakapag-provide ba ng support dun sa, sa entire or majority ng, set, ng business mo. Ma'am Ma Joy, yes? cut, cut ko lang. Anyway, kasi kanina na-mention mo yung parang five myth nung about mm -hmm. life insurance. So basically, uh -huh. ito rin yung mga nagiging challenges o ano ba, barrier ng mga ng mga typical uh, individual. Yan yung, uh -huh. yung five life insurance meet na na-mention mo. So most likely, ito yung mga parang umahad lang rin sa kanila uh -huh. kung bakit ayaw nilang magkaroon ng life insurance. Mm -hmm. Pero aside from this kasi, malaking issue rin kasi yung fear nung iba na ah, baka magsara yung ano, baka magsara to, or, or, di ba, yung mga ganun, kasi may maraming previous cases na before na may mga companies, uh, life insurance companies na nagsa, nagsara na o nagsasara na. So, ka, tapos after yan, nag-proceed ka dun sa parang, ano yung mga, ay, mga consider, uh, dapat may consider for a life insurance. So, para ma-address yun, yung takot nila sa, sa possibility na magsara, yung life insurance, Ano yung pointers nyo sa pagpili ng life insurance company na dapat yun ang pagkatiwalaan? Okay, um, for me, number one talaga, you have to do your homework. No? Um, <laughs> number one is yung company. Since available naman yung Google sa atin, everyone. Um, if you check, like for example, um, I'm from Sun Life. No? So Sun Life yung pinakakabisado ko. Sun Life... Sun Life has been around in the Philippines for 125 years. Amazingly, <laughs> kami yung oldest um, insurance company in the Philippines, no, in the country. Um, did you know, mayroon akong short trivia siya, did you know that even yung mga sundalo sa World War II were insured and received payouts from Sun Life? So, isa yun sa mga malalaking factors na kailangan mong, ano eh, um, magandang, maganda rin na maging open si financial advisor about Ano yung background ng company nila? At the same time, you have to do your homework also. Um, yung, kumbaga, so yung tenure ng um, ng business ay ng insurance company. Like, ganun na sila katagal sa industriya. Ganun na sila kakilala. Um, ayun, at saka, yeah, yun yung number one talaga. Yung, may, may ano, like, like banko, kasi, di ba, financial institution pa rin to. So, like, like ang, ang banko ma, meron mga BSP, Meron rin bang something na gano'n si um, ang life insurance? Yes, actually regulated ang insurance uh, insurance companies and the financial advisors ng insurance commission. And this is, um, ah, so, yes, this is a government uh, agency, if I'm not mistaken, yun yung term. Uh, so, <laughs> pa, so, tawag dito, um, kung, kung, ang, kung ang, parang same lang siya ng bank, kung, so kung nag-guide siya ni, uh, si Banko nag-guide sa ni BSP, si insurance company naman nag-guide ng insurance commission. So, does it mean na si insurance companies rin, meron rin silang categories like si Banko, may mga universal bank, may rural bank, may, some, may mga ganyan. So, parang si insurance ba, ganun rin? Hindi ko masyadong maintindihan yung question mo. I'm sorry. I mean, kasi, di ba si Banko, meron sila pag Rural bank to um, universal bank, merong, kumbaga in terms of, uh, paano ba ito, sa laki ng kumpanya, uh, nakakategorize kasi sila sa ganun. Si insurance ba, may mga categories pa ng ganyan? Kung kunyari, yung katulad si Sun Life, yung mga malaking companies, um, meron ba silang categories na tinatawag sa ganyan? Or basically, insurance companies talaga lahat sila. Ang pagkakaintindi ko kasi sa mga categories ng insurance, um, so you have life insurance, you have property insurance, non-life insurance, I'm sorry, non-life insurance, um, maraming klaseng insurance, but I'm not sure kung paano yung tiering na sinasabi mo. Mm, okay. So, kasi parang I remember may mga pre-ned, pre-ned ba yun? Pre-ned. Uh, pre na insurance companies. Mm -hmm. So, kaya natanong ko lang. Um, ang pagkakaalam pagkaka ko sa mga insurances kasi, mga insurance companies, 
um depende sa anong kinu-cover nila yun yung yun yung pagkaka as far as my knowledge goes <laughs> mm. like meron kang life insurance meron kang non life insurance meron kang um business insurance ayun subsidiary hindi ko i have to check that and i can get uh, back to you on that okay And anyway ma'am ano tawag dito so basically ang mga insurance companies are almost the same ang different ang um, nagdi-differ lang sila sa pra, sa parang offering ng insurance. Oo, oo. Um yung usually ang difference talaga diyan. Pinaka tip ko actually. Uh, for me ha, kasi halos magkakahawig naman yung ino-offer ng mga products ng mga insurance companies. Eh. Pero may pero siya. Like sa akin napaka-importante kung sino yung advisor na makukuha mo. And saan siyang company affiliated. Kaya yun yung pinakauna kong hinighlight, no? Um, dito sa things to consider dito. Um, in choosing a, a, a in, in choosing a life insurance or getting a life insurance, actually. Um, it's very, very important kasi um, we often hear, I'm not naming names, but there are people uh, parang um, like, okay, kumuha sila na, naging financial advisor sila this year, but Siyempre, napagod minsan or biglang nag, um, nag-iba ng um, line of business, ganun. So, you have to look at how dedicated din si financial advisor sa 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 calling niya. We call it calling. Eh. We don't call it a profession or what. It's it's really a calling. So, how passionate are they? Um, Baga may puso. Mm, nandun yung puso. Gilas. <laughs> Parang uh-huh. gilas. Oh, tsaka, siyempre, kahit siyempre kahit may puso naman sila pero affiliated naman sila hindi naman sila affiliated sa I mean hindi naman hindi kumaga nag-aalangan ka doon sa affiliation nila na company so there are things na kailangan mong i-consider talaga Kaya it it goes hand in hand ayun SJ Okay na Okay, okay. so uh, so balik tayo sa sorry <laughs> Kala ko naghang. <laughs> um, so, balik tayo dun sa dinidiscuss natin. No? So, it's very, very important talaga. Um, makukutuban naman yan kasi negosyante naman tayo lahat. So, makukutuban nyo naman yan kung, ah, ito, okay, itong, okay yung financial advisor na to. As I've said earlier, again, they are going to be your partners for life. The, insur- the, the insurance company and the financial advisor, they are going to be your partners for life. Para kang mag-aasawa, in short. So, very, very important. You have to consider those things, no? So, other tips, actually. Um, ito, yung, ito yung pinaka-tanong namin madalas sa mga friends namin, family, mga mga clients na mga nagtatanong sa amin. Ano mang dapat kong kunin na? Tanong nila sa amin is, anong dapat kong kunin na klase ng insurance? So, ito yung balik ko sa kanila. Ang tanong ko sa kanila, what keeps you up at night? Anong pinaka um, thing na nagkakos sa'yo ng anxiety? So that's where you, that's that's where we come in eh. Kung maga para kaming therapist financially. So doon kami makakatulong sa inyo. So if you identify your other worries and concerns like for example um nag-aalala ako kasi itong empleyado ko na to 20 years na kami magkasama eh paano pag bigla ko na wala or ganyan or I want to give them a very very good retirement So pwede kaming tumulong doon no So if you show the list maganda eh, show the list or like kwento mo lang sa amin kung how how um how we can help kung ano yung mga worries mo then doon na kami papasok, doon kami mag-inject sa inyo ng mga um, possible solutions. Doon na namin itit, kasi like, life insurance, I mean, insurance policies are tailor-made actually. Hindi siya yung, um, magkano ba yan? <laughs> Ang tanong namin sa'yo pabalik is, uh, ano bang kailangan natin? <laughs> so, kaya una namin tanong is, ay, yung, yung mga tanong namin is, ano bang kailangan natin? Ano ba yung nag- uh, ano ba yung kinawording nyo every night? Um, ang daming assessment niyan. So, it's not like magkano, hindi siyang how much PM, please. Okay. So, yan. Since na natanong so, na magkano, 
Ah, so basically, basically ma'am, um, kung baga mag adjust siya depende sa capacity mo. Yes, and you hmm. need mo. You need mo. Kaya okay. uh, we, we do an interview first. Hmm. We chika-chika muna tayo, ganyan. Engineer, ano bang kailangan natin? Um, oh. Meron ka bang... No, no, normally kasi ang concern ng mga ganyan, di ba? Typically, mahal or hindi ko kaya yan. So, at li- uh, ng- so b- ngayon, sinasabi nyo na hindi siya fixed price but will ad- ad- depende sa capacity mo at the same time. Kung ano need mo as a person. Yes. Uh, yes. I see. Sige ma'am, thank you. Uh, uh, so, Meron pang ibang factors actually na nakaka-affect ng pressure ng insurance, no? Kaya madalas namin sinasabi na when do you uh, when is the right time to get an insurance? It's always uh, sorry. It's always right now. Why? Kasi malaking factor ang cost ng insurance sa age. Number one 'yun. Kasi the higher I mean the older we get um Siyempre, the higher the risk, no? Kaya mas mataas yung magiging insurance cost. Number two, yung health. Pag abusado ka sa, sa, ano mo, sa katawan mo, meron nung lumabas sa yung mga sakit, um, nakaka-affect din yun ng cost ng life insurance. Number three, yung occupation mo, ano ba yung trabaho mo? For example, um, ano bang delikado? Uh, army ka, for example. Or, police ka. So, in Siguro. the line, Siguro right now, ma'am, ang magandang sample, siguro yung mga rider. Mm, yun pa yun. Mga riders, yes. Uh, so, marami, 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 marami. Like yung mga delikadong occupation. So, it affects the cost of life insurance, no? And then yung lifestyle. Yung kunwari, do you smoke? How much? How many sticks do you smoke in a day, in a year? Malakas ka ba uminom? <laughs> Madalas ka ba uminom? Kano karami yung iniinom mo? Um... Kasi of course, alam natin na malaking risk factor yun. Um, smoking kills. Di ba? Um, number mm-hmm. five, yung hobbies. Kapag ka, okay, safe nga. Nasa office ka nga madalas. Pero mahilig ka naman mag-skydiving every other day. Hindi <laughs> natin malaman na baka hindi yan bumabas yung parachute. Di ba? So, may mga may mga factors na, ganun yung mga factors na nag affect sa cost ng life insurance. Um, okay. Okay. So, ito yung pinaka-final question ngayon is, alam natin na sobrang, um, alam natin na madalas tayong at risk, madalas tayo na sa labas. Madalas tayong, kung mag expose na expose tayo, hindi lang sa aksidente, hindi lang sa sakit, pati sa pandemic ngayon. <laughs> so, ang tanong dito is, what have you planned so far? Diba? So, yun yung final word ko. Okay, so, again, babalikan lang natin. Um, life insurance is here for you. Uh, andito lang kami or just a talk away. Um, kung hindi ka namin kukulitin magkape, pero kung gusto magkape, pwede rin. <laughs> pwede tayo mag-usap. Um, you can... Okay, if you have any questions, you can, or just want to talk, or chika-chika lang tayo about life insurance, or may tutulong life insurance, or nalulungkot ka lang, you can email me at um, this email, sunlifejoyhome at gmail.com. Um, so, babalikan kita agad. You can email me back. I mean, I'll email you back as soon as I can, which is like 24 hours naman ako halos online. So, yun lang. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so anyway, anyway kasi ma'am, tawag dito, yung sinare niya sa atin kanina was actually, um, can we say it brief lang or ano ba, pasilip about insurance, uh, life insurance. Pero if we have viewers na interested to to tailor fit nga yung sinasabi ni ma'am kanina na uh, life insurance uh, depende sa inyo. You can actually just email Miss Joy dun sa, sa uh, email na na-mention niya, sunlifejoyhung at gmail.com. Or i-comment ko lang rin siguro, uh, isasama ko na rin sa description box uh, mamaya yung email ni ma'am. So para at least mas in-depth yung usapan. Kasi right now, medyo broad lang yan eh. So in terms of benefits or 
um, ano yung life insurance, mas ma- mas ma- may mas may ilalalim pa kasi yan kung mapag-uusapan nyo na mas matagal. So sabi ko, sabi nga ni ma'am, kung gusto yung magkape, imposible ngayon kasi hindi pa ata allowed eh. So baka mag-virtual coffee, ano na lang kayo, meeting. So pwede nyo pag-usapan yan. Tapos, yun ma'am, on my part, kung nyari, may question lang ako. Kasi nga, normally, um, especially right now, sasabihin ng mga um, ng mga tao, bakit ngayon ako mag-restart eh ngayon nga ako walang kinikita? Yun yung pinaka yun yung question. Oo, oh, kunyari ganun. Kasi right now, pinag-usapan natin sa nasa uh, palipat pa lang tayo ng GCQ. So basically, pa, 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 yung iba, pabalik pa lang ng trabaho. So basically, tapos ngayon parang ang sinasabi, enrollment na. So... <laughs> Eh yung mga ganung issue so parang bakit kailangan ko siyang maging priority? Eh ni, eh, 'di ba? Kumbaga parang bakit ngayon? Actually the more na kailangan mo maging priority siya eh. If you if you look at it, if you if you think about it this way ha. Ah kasi mag-enrollment na. What if you started earlier? Hindi ka na lang hmm. enrollment. Hindi mo na iisipin so, 'yun. Ang iisipin mo ay naka-focus ka ngayon sa negosyo mo or uh, other things, 'di ba? Kung so, baka babalik at babalik lang rin talaga doon, no? Kung yes. yan at yan ang magiging mindset mo na bakit mm-hmm. ngayon, bakit ngayon, bakit ngayon, eh bakit hindi pa dati? Sana oh. kung yung dati mo pa, hindi sana yung ngayon mo, hindi ka nagbababakit dyan. So parang ganun. So, so dapat hindi rin talaga sila matakot umpisa na. Oo, oh, hindi, hindi naman talaga nakakatakot yan, eh. I mean, pwede ko naman explain sa kanila na mas maigi, no? Depende kasi sa needs nila, but, um, So sa so current income nila no. Oo, for me kasi ano eh um hindi ko actually nasa nasa tao yan eh. Feeling nila right timing kung kukuha talaga sila ng insurance. But of course for me since mas bukas na yung I mean mas mas bukas na ako um sa idea ng insurance and nakikita ko na yung long, long term niya. I really set aside uh, I set aside the budget for it. Hmm. So yung, yung budgeting Actually, tinutulungan ako ng friend slash accountant ko, best friend ko, si R.H. Toral. Yan, nagko-comment siya ngayon, he's watching. Uh, uh, so, so siya, pa, siya pala yun. Uh, Hi, sir. Oh, he, he, he helped me through that. Kasi, um, before, hirap din, uh, natatakot din ako. No? Um, kasi, syempre, small business owner ako, hindi naman ako, hindi naman ganun, like, every month meron akong fixed income na makukuha, ganyan, ganyan. But, uh, it, apparently, <laughs> When I cut back on my Starbucks or yung mga biyahe-biyahe ko na, kung, na irrelevant, um, bisyo ko, for example. Oh. <laughs> uh, how much is like a bottle of beer, for example? How much is a pack of cigarette? If you cut that back, number one, you'd be you'd be living healthier. Number two, you can get, you can ease your anxieties more pa when you get the life insurance. I, I jumped into the in life insurance wagon. Actually, I have like previous life insurance na, pero my, my parents are paying for it be, way back before. Um, Sun Life people kami. The, the, the whole family, no? Um, but I wanted to get my own. Why? Kasi, um, I'm single. <laughs> Hindi ako nag-advertise na single ako. But I'm single. Um, ang kids ko, panay mga kids lang. <laughs> um, and I don't want to be a burden for my family, no? Um, people would say na, dapat, ano, kinasal ka na, uh, kas, ikasal ka, magkaroon ka ng anak, kasi kung sino mag-aalaga sa'yo, pagtanda mo. Um, dumating ako sa point talaga na, yes, nagkaroon ako ng ganong fear. Sinong mag-aalaga sa akin pagtanda ko? Single lang ko. Panayaso lang yung mga alaga ko. Yung mga aso ko, hindi mo pwede maging nurse, di ba? <laughs> um, oh. But, and worse, kapag nawala ako, papano yung mga aso ko pag na-outlive nila ako? Mm, ang daming ganong mga fear. Um, and I talked to uh, my my aunt, and she's she's also my manager, son life manager. Um, and nagkwentuhan na kami. Very, very simple kwentuhan lang about um, insurance. And dun na-open yung, na-open talaga yung eyes ko. At saka yung ano, sabi ko, well, hindi, hindi, hindi ko lang, kumaga, I can be independent and not have those fears. Um, kasi ngayon na rin ako insurance eh. Nag, nag, nakapag-decide mm. na. I set aside talaga na yung insurance. Uh, this money is for my insurance um, policy. Uh, my insurance premiums. Tapos tinulungan din ako ng mga friends ko and yung um, 
especially si Bobby, tinulungan niya ako mag-budget. Uh, ayun. So, kahit na regular yung income ko, I make it work. Kasi mas malaki yung fear ko for for my loved ones and my future. At mas malaki yung fear ko na maging burden sa mga loved ones ko. Kasi yung fear ko na right now, magkaroon na ako ng certain inconvenience like hindi na ako makapagkape sa Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Or hindi na ako makapag Jollibee. If, if you yun yun eh. Um, you have to set your priorities talaga. So parang right now, kung katulad ng sinabi kong question kanina, bakit ngayon ako mag-start kung tsaka nasa ganito akong sitwasyon? So para makapag-start ko, I have to give up something, no? Na, na actually hindi naman yung something na parang part lang ng bisyo or um, luxury mo lang. Kung kaya mo magbawas ng load mo, kung kaya mo magbawas ng kain mo. Kasi it's for your future naman, eh, no? So anyway, sa so mga viewers natin, if you have questions, um, please feel free to comment it para mapag-usapan namin yan. So, we have question from Chick, Miss Chicklet Frasler. Uh, ayun, do you have educational plan daw po? There are plans that can double as educational plan. Na certain flexible. Plan. Oh yeah, very, very flexible ang mga plans ngayon ng mga insurance company. So, if um, I can send you a message later if you want we can talk about um what 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 are your needs uh like may mga goals yan <laughs> gusto mo bang Ivy League school sila or what ganyan so ma- kaya para ma-hit natin yung target etc so it's very um yeah. i don't think it's it's appropriate then to discuss uh, yeah. personal pero basically meron silang merong educational plan kasi right now from what i know kasi and from what i remember Halos so, lahat ngayon ng insurance company sobrang flexible ng mga plans na ina-offer nila. So, uh, whatever you need pagdating sa health, sa family, sa uh, income protection, halos lahat pwedeng ma-address ng insurance company siya. So, ayun nga rin, gaya pa lang na mention ni Ma'am kanina, um, kapag kukuha kayo ng insurance company, hindi lang dapat yung napipilitan. Kung baga dapat na isa puso mo na rin. Kung baga para at least kung babayaran mo siya monthly, hindi sumasama loob mo na nagbabayad ka <laughs> ng ganong halaga. Pero kasi kung isinapuso mo yung importance kasi nung life insurance na meron ka ngayon, alam mo kung bakit ka nagbabayad. Yun yun yung actually, I, I just want to inject uh, a little bit more. no um, People would think na insurance is an expense. It is not. It is an investment for your future, for your loved one's future. Hindi siya expenses. You're actually setting aside money na nag-grow pa <laughs> ng mas mm. at nakakabit ng inflation um that's actually a nice topic next time no pag-usap pa rin natin yung inflation na yan para at least yes. mas in-depth tayo Uh-oh. Uh-oh. magandang ano yan but basically you're investing for your future and your for, for your loved one's future for your um business future uh, etc um So it is it is not an expense it didn't, and it shouldn't be a burden to you. Never. Dapat isipin na ganun, yes. Yun. So guys, if you have questions, uh, feel free to ask uh, to comment lang para mapag-usapan natin 'yan. For the meantime, Miss Joy, uh, anything you want to ano uh, to to share or to think or to promote? Ah, uh, follow niyo naman yung <laughs> Ito na. Yeah. <laughs> Candid na. Ah, um, so ah uh, Most of our viewers in Startup Local know me as um, si Happy Fur. Hindi ako si Joy, ako si Happy Fur, ako si Asado Shirts. Um, okay, I just want to reintroduce my um, my my first page. And uh, si, si, si Happy Fur is Happy Fur PH. Um, we have pet shampoo bars, all natural pet shampoo bars. Um, we have reusable diapers and belly bands for um, our fur babies. Um, nalumabas yung brand niyan because, um, well, I have 10 fur babies. <laughs> And I love, um, I love animals talaga. Um, dogs, cats, ganon. Um, so, if you can follow our Facebook page, Happy Fur PH, um, Instagram PH. Meron kaming newest product right now. It's all natural calabasa puree. Um, handmade by me. Uh, <laughs> maayos naman yung gawa. Um, all natural, no preservatives, and it's very, very good for um, yung sa digestive health ng, ng dogs and cats natin. Um, and then, si Asado Shirts, 
baby onesies. Yes, baby onesies yan. Custom, um, pwede ako mag-customize, but right now, medyo um, since quarantine, quarantine pa, so uh, hindi masyadong full blast pa yung ano namin, 100% yung operations namin. But we have ready-to-wear um, costume baby onesies for your baby's OOTDs. And then lastly, si Senorita, ang dami ko talaga negosyo. Dami ko pinasok. Senorita Sari Sari Store, nandyan yung, kung gusto nyo mag-order ng walang hassle, tapos gusto nyo gumamit ng credit card, debit card, whatever, you can go to my online store, yung website namin, senoritastore.com. Nandun si Asado Shirts, nandun si Happy Fur, and then other grocery items. I also have, I, I'm currently carrying si Zenith, um, Bawaw Zenith na Korean premium dog food and cat food. Doggy man, cat, uh, doggy man, katty man, uh, um, dog treats and cat treats. Marami pa. Hindi lang, hindi lang pang dogs. May pang humans. May pang humans tayo. Um, yeah, yun. So, yun yung mga ipopromote namin. And, uh, if you, you are very interested or you have other questions, um, with regards to insurance, you can always hit me up. Um, message na lang ako, email, kahit message nyo ako sa Asado Shirts or sa Happy Fur, I'm the one who's controlling, I mean, I'm the admin there, so, kahit insurance yung question, I can answer them there. Um, ayun, and then we can, I can set up an online meeting with you, um, to, to, uh, identify your needs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, for uh, for followers, please don't forget to uh, like and uh, subscribe sa page natin. And for new viewers pala, please don't forget to like our page and click see first or favorite para updated guys sa latest uploads namin. And again, yon gusto ko lang rin uli magpasalamat sa uh, What's Your Flan para dun sa pinadala yung uh, avocado milo na flavored leche flan. So actually sila yung guest natin last time, yung CEO na naka-14 failed business bago niya makuha yung business para sa kanya. So si Miss wow. Princess San Diego, sobrang thank you dun sa sa pinadala niyo po. And thank you also para dun sa Vita Plus na nagpadala sa akin ng package para sa uh, immune boosting. So hindi pa natin sila nagiging guest dito pero most likely baka one of these days, uh, makausapin natin sila at para mapag-usapan din namin, natin, kung ano yung benefits ng Vita Plus sa atin. Kasi very timely. Eh. So, then, Baka po, uh, uh, sorry, ano Reggie, pwede mo pwede natin promote din yung next natin na uh, um, uh, pet and green. Ayun mo. Ayun. Oh. Ayun. Um, aside from that, um, starting June kasi, um, every, Starting June, magkakaroon tayo ng mga regular programs. Every Thursdays at 4 p.m. for Artsy Craftsy. So for that um, program naman, um, gusto natin i-highlight yung mga crafters natin. So before um, yung mga previous episode natin, nakapag-highlight na tayo ng mga crafters natin. Pero this time, bibigyan natin sila ng sariling time slot. So um, kung mga crafters kayo, please feel free to message me or message yung page namin para mapag-usapan natin yung products nyo. Actually, may mga nareceive na akong um, messages sa page. So, sobrang thank you sa inyo. Um, magaganda yung products nyo. Gusto kong matuloy yan. Then, every Friday at 4 p.m. is uh, online pet and greet. Uh, so, if you remember, last week at or last last week, meron tayong first online pet and greet. So, this time, mas magiging in-depth yung mga usapan natin tungkol sa pet uh, enthusiast, pet owners, pet products or basta tungkol sa pets ang pag-usapan natin dyan. So, tungkol sa kahayupan yung pag-usapan natin dyan. So, eh, then every Saturday naman at 5pm is itong Start Learning Series natin. So, for those um, mga experts, marketing experts o uh, kung saan man kayo enthusiast sa tingin nyo makakatulong sa mga startup natin yung, pag, uh, yung expertise nyo please message me o message yung page namin para mapag-usapan natin yan at kung uh, kailan natin magagawa yung, yung topic na yan this June. Tapos, um, again, remind ko lang rin yung raffle ng risk clay cut na ongoing pa rin yan. Ang deadline yan is tomorrow. So, may three items na pa mamimigay si risk clay cut. So, nasa Facebook page natin yan, nakapost yan. So, follow nyo lang instruction para ma masama kayo sa entries. And deadline yan would be May 31 at 11 p.m. So, tomorrow yan. 
Tapos, um, ano ba ba? Yun, we also have Start Bayanihan. So, normally kung followers kayo or bago kayo sa page namin, makakakita kayo ng mga post doon ng different products na may hashtag Start uh, the Bayanihan. So, meaning yung the Start the Bayanihan na yan, uh, we are encouraging yung mga followers natin or viewers natin to buy from this post kasi ito yung mga uh, members o friends natin na, na startup na nagsasell ng mga products nila. So, um, kasi right now, very limited yung way of uh, ng pag-sell nila ng mga products nila. So, if may nakita kayong post ko na nakasulat is hashtag start the bayanihan. So, mga MSME yan na followers or members ng the startup local. So, Pwede yung silang supportan. Kung di kayo makakabili, pwede nyo i-share yan. Or, kung, uh, or pwede, nyong, pwede kayo mag-comment or mag-tag ng mga friends nyo or i-like na lang rin yung mismong post. So, yun. Um, any questions before before we ano, we close po? Baka may mga questions pa tayo. So, just in case lang, um, if you have if you are interested to have a life insurance or just to consult lang, Um, it doesn't mean naman na pag message si Miss Joy is kailangan nyo nang uh, mag-avail o hindi naman, kasi ang life insurance naman talaga is uh, aware ang mga financial advisor natin na pinag-iisipan dapat talaga yan. So, huwag kayong matakot magtanong kasi nandyan talaga sila para i-address yung mga problems or questions nyo. So, if interested kayo or merong hindi na address na um, questions sa utak nyo sa topic na to, pwede nyo i-message si Miss Joy eh, kukomment ko yan or sasama ko sa description yan mamaya kung saan nyo siya yung message. Tapos, yun. Para matulungan kayo ni Miss Joy. So, hindi yung compulsory. Kung may tanong kayo, open open sila for for questions. Ayun, very, uh, ayun ma, meron ka pang gustong idagdag? Ah, uh, wala naman na yata. <laughs> Ang good na ako. Ayun, so, Ay, again, diba? wala na. Wala, wala naman na nag-pop. So, pero kung, kung meron kayong questions or after ng live tapos napanood nyo tong uh, video na to tapos you have question, you can still drop it sa comment or direct, oh. diretso, diretso email na kayo dun sa email na isasama ko sa description box. And, uh, so, tama. Tama si Ms. Shirley. Need to get, uh, kala ko questions eh. Need to get insurance na why wait pa. Anyway, um, nakalimutan ko yung sinasabi ko. So, <laughs> uh, we have different ano, videos na or start learning series na na-upload sa page na to. So, if you have time, pwede nyo silang panoorin kasi magaganda yung mga topics namin. So, tapos tingin nyo, um, if you wanted to be featured dito sa start learning series natin, sa artsy craftsy natin, or sa online pet and greet natin, huwag kayong mahihang mag-message sa amin kasi gusto ko yun at gusto We welcome po kayo sa page natin. So, again, for new viewers, please don't forget to like our page and click see first or favorite para laging updated sa, uh, sa mga posts namin. And sa mga followers natin, sobrang thank you sa inyo and keep on sharing yung page natin para mas malaking reach natin at marami tayong matulungan sa sector natin. So, maybe, siguro yun, uh, that's it. Uh, ingat Ingat po tayong lahat. Uh, again, on Monday is GCQ na sa karamihan area. So, Gusto ko pa ingat pa rin. Si, ano, si Ma'am Ani is watching pala. Hi, Ma'am Ani. O nga pala si Ma'am Ani. Kanina Or nag-comment. Uh, hello po, Ma'am Ani. Um, marami, na, ito si Ma'am si Ma Ani naman yung sa Sparkbon. So, kung hindi na kayo bago dito na naging guest na rin natin si Ma'am Ani. So, always na kapitbahay in Bazaars. Yun. Yes. Yan. Laging supporter ng The Startup Local yes. yan. So, sobrang thank you ulit sa inyo. Again, thank you sa What's Your Plan and Vita Plus. <laughs> Ang lakas mga celebrity ng... <laughs> <laughs> Ang lakas ng makasal. Pag nagpadala ko ng Happy Fur Products, gamitin mo din dapat. Oo, oh, ayun nga. Oh, nga. Ako nagagamit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ako mismo. Anyways, uh, sobrang thank you po sa inyo lahat. Maraming maraming salamat and magandang gabi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.